All right, here we are on the beloved and infamous wall day up at Dory Hill. So get right into it. So these are the plates that we laid out um, in our last video. As you can see, we just pull them up in pairs pull them across and stack them in a corner um, where oh, they're yeah, at the baby. way. It's wall day. We're very excited about wall day. That was a little aggressive. 104 and 5 8. So right off the bat yep. you can see we got Landon up on those saw horses. Um, he's cutting for me and I'm going to start framing. But first, a word from our sponsors. Just kidding, there's no sponsor. I just want you to subscribe. All right, so, like I said, Landon's got the sawhorses. He's cutting for me. He's cutting my window packs, my door packs, and he's nailing them all together, so I'm ready to go. So while he's starting that, I'll be building my corners. This is my exterior corner, so we're gonna make it a triple post, and we just fur it out with two layers of blocks. So that way it's wide enough to provide inside backing for drywall. And we still leave cavities so it can still be insulated too. We call this a stud block stud. Test your smarts and see if you can guess why we call it that. Always square your big posts. You don't want to make your post too tall by nailing it out of square. Now, I've gotten flack for using a coil gun before, but this is the advantage. What I just put in there is the equivalent of 10 racks of a traditional stick nail gun. So while it's a little bit longer to reload, it's the equivalent of reloading 10 times a regular nail gun. Boom, just like that, the exterior corner's done. And you can see Landon already has a few sets of King Stud trimmers and bottom cripples all nailed and ready to go. That's right, those are both done. Heck yeah. Um, 5-0, I'm gonna do for five your foot, sale, just five, five foot. foot, yes sir. And only two, not three. Yeah. Exactly. So the next thing for me to build is gonna be a channel. We have a couple of these for our little fireplace, which you'll see in a bit. This is how I like to build them right here. here. Two nails, flip it on its side. It's the perfect angle to just nail it and it's super easy to adjust it to get them flush. And you can roll it right over. And you got yourself a channel. Again with the Cali corner. That was a good one.
All right, so now everything's cut, everything's built. So all I have to do is just nail the blades. Landon's got all my trimmers, king studs cut. So I actually set out my uh, main studs um, off camera. And then we also laid out our point loads. So that's why we have two studs here because there's a point load from the floor above. Hammer claws are super useful for lifting and pulling things. Naughty, naughty. So again, if I've reloaded this gun twice now, that would mean the equivalent of reloading a stick gun 20 times already, which is nuts. Once again, the claws, just pick it right up. Bring it on over. Boom. I always nail the bottom first and then go to the top. I don't have a super big reason for it. I think I just like to start on the outside and work my way in. Number three. This means this is my second, or sorry, my third set of 250 nails. All right, so the footage of sheeting that wall I don't have, but we basically sheeted it, got our rim joist on it, um, framed our fireplace on it, got that sheeted, and then stood the whole thing in one piece, just like that. Don't mind our super messy van. Gotta stay hydrated. But I did get footage of us putting rim joists on the next wall. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Did I hit your fingers? slide blocks that are cut to, um, what would that be, four and an eighth, or sorry, four and three eighths, so that way when we put our rim joist right on it, it becomes perfectly flush with our top plate. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably cheat it a little. What was that? Yeah, that was like a sonic boom. Whatever that sound was, we genuinely had no idea. But it was a loud boom and we just heard car horns running after. So we get our blocks to set a rim joist flush, and then we just go ahead and nail it six inches on the center, all the way across. We only partially rimmed this one, so that way once our wall is stood, we can set a long piece that goes over the overhang and ties it all in nicely. We overhang our sheets here too so they break in the middle of our rim joist and get us a really good tie-in, tying the top and the bottom floors together. These first sheets you want to be really careful with because if it gets a little off it can really make everything look out of whack.
Our nailing pattern for these walls is 6 inches on the edges and 12 inches in the field. Always check your studs for bow before you get too far in. I really like these tall wall sheets because the lines in them are actually accurate. A lot of the typical OSB we get, the, the markings for the studs can be off up to two inches sometimes. And they're still decent for a parallel reference, but not for an exact location of a stud. Now we're actually lined up to be getting a high pressure max nail gun and compressor here pretty soon. So we'll be uh, putting away these old guns and be using the new pretty stuff. So we're super excited for that. But, but we're really liking these uh, standard pressure coil guns, so we're really excited to be using high pressure coil here pretty soon. So, in order to keep us from having to work backwards, we put our little piece of plywood pre-nailed onto the outside of the house, so that way when we stand our wall, it's already ready to go. Just like that, we got our strap on there from the lift. We're going up. We just get out to a decent place to start. Our boom was actually maxed out, so we couldn't uh, stand the whole thing with the lift. But thankfully, this wall wasn't too big, so we were able to all just get on it and push it up together. These are nine foot walls for reference. That wall in the background is the wall I was framing this same morning. Perfect. <laughs> and there we go. So that's all of the uh, wall framing details. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope it was beneficial, educational. Let me know if you learned anything or if you have anything to teach me. I'm super willing to learn. Um, yeah, so subscribe for more and check out our Instagram, at Kaufman Construction. Thanks so much.